The Oxford TCC is an official language certificate based on the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages that assesses the five main English language skills. Use of English, reading, listening, writing and speaking. Its final objective is to certify candidates in these skills at any level from A1 to C2. In addition to being an official certificate, the Oxford TCC helps candidates identify their areas of improvement through its three-step process. Diagnostic. Its main objective is to detect the candidate's initial English level within the CEFR. Mock. Verifies the candidate's English level obtained in the diagnostic and also provides practice before the final exam. Certification. It certifies the candidate's English skills in the level obtained. It includes a speaking examination which is carried out by native English speakers. What are the benefits of having the Oxford TCC in your school? The price is accessible. The cost is the same for all levels. Examination dates are available all year round. The school decides when to apply the exams. The digital results are sent five days after taking the exam and candidates will receive the exact percentages obtained in each of the skills tested. The physical copy of the certificate is delivered three weeks after finalizing the process, including the speaking assessment. The whole process takes place within the school facilities. The Oxford TCC is the best option for certifying the English level of students and teachers alike. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, Vivian. Nice to see you. Hello. 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 Just say yes. Hello. Hello there. Hi, Hello. everybody. Hello. Hi, Vivian. Hello. First of all, let me Hi. just welcome some people here, all right, that I can see they are on a waiting room. So just give me one second, please. Okay, um, so Jean, you are, you, are you ready there? Yes, okay, perfect. So, okay, let me introduce you myself. Uh, my name is Vivian Cardoso, okay? I am BEO representative here in Brazil, and I'm so glad to have you all here. I'm sure you guys are gonna have an amazing time, okay? So first of all, I'd like to ask you, please keep yourself on mute, all right? so you can have a better listening, all right? So uh, this presentation is, uh, is gonna last for, for approximately 40 minutes. And uh, at the end of the presentation, we are going to have 10 to 15 minutes for questions and answers. So if you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat right here on the bottom. So you can please send your message so what will you be doing? I will be collecting your message and reading your message to the presenter at the end of the conference. So we, he'll, he'll be able to answer you. All right. So, uh, so I'm here with an amazing guy. Okay. He's a Brazilian. His name is Giancarlo Tonsiak. All right. He's PhD student at University of Sao Paulo. Uh, and he also uh, holds a master degree at uh, PUC São Paulo. So Jean Rafael, he's gonna talk in, with you guys about gamification in the classroom, reflection in practice for teachers. Okay, Jean, welcome. So feel free to start. Thank you, Vivian. Hello, everybody. Um, for the first, I'd like to say thank you for BIO with, for the invite. And I really, really appreciate this, this invite. And I am, um, I'm very glad to be here to talk about uh, something that I, I've been doing since the last 10 years. And I think uh, it's a, I will talk about gamification. And I think will be um, a very useful um, topic. Uh, for for teachers and educators here uh, so uh, can you please just say hello again <laughs> hello <laughs> hello okay hi hi hello hello, hello. 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 
Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. Hello. This is very yes. Good. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. And for the first, I'd like to 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 um, to say that I'm try to communicate. I'm not very fluent in English, but I will try to communicate. Okay, guys. I will share my screen here um, to show you uh, my presentation. Just a minute. Here we are. So let's go. So today I will talk to you about gamification in the classrooms, reflection and practices for teachers. Uh, so my name is Jean Rafael, uh, and I'm here because I love ludic education. So since uh, more than 10 years ago, I, I've been doing some research and some uh, jobs that uh, really, really focus on uh, games, education and technology. Uh, I did a uh, research um, where I put some some free uh, digital games inside classrooms for uh, for teachers who works at the end of the K twelve um, that that works uh, at the end of uh, K twelve. So and I I check at that uh, at that time that this technology games uh, could help some teachers if they uh, they have. The, the ways they have the, the, the technology that works, they have the, uh, you know, the, the right game to, to work uh, at the, at, at with, uh, with his uh, major, with his, uh, the, 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 the team that the teachers work. And also I've been doing a lot of game jams. I don't know if you know about game jams, but uh, it's a kind of hackathon Hackathon, it's uh, um, yeah. more popular, yeah. I, I'm so sorry uh, for interrupting you. Just to let you know, I'm not sure your intention, but we cannot see your presentation so far. We oh, are seeing really? more your kind of your drive than your oh, sorry, presentation. Sorry. Okay, sorry, I will change. No problem. What What about now? Did, did you see my presentation? Um, not yet. Okay, no. I, I will stop uh, this sharing. Um, and I will try to share again, just a minute. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Are you seeing all my files? Oh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. All your secrets as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see now. Is it working now? Right, yes. Yes. Oh, great. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you. So this, this is the term, gamification in the classroom, reflections and practice for teachers. Uh, this is me um, and I was here. So I've been doing uh, research in curriculum and technology games area. And I was talking about game jams. So game jams are, um, are events uh, similar to hackathons. Hackathons is more, uh, it's a name more popular, but uh, developers, programmers, programmers uh, artists, uh, sound designers to get together and uh, to work during 48 hours uh, continuum. Uh, and we ask them to do uh, a game and we, we, we give them a theme, like the last one that I did, we give them the, the theme of synchronicity. And they, they, they need to uh, develop games about this, this theme. And it is a, a, a very, very nice event because, uh, you know, uh, people share ideas, share knowledge, and they develop things uh, together. And uh, the results of, of these this events are, are very, very interesting because, you know, uh, you see the, the product and you see a prototype uh, of ideas uh, in function. Um, and it, it's... I, I really suggest you know about some game jams or hackathons in your city. Please go there and uh, uh, try to, to know everything that will happen there. And also, I, I work with some, some um, 
edutech innovation, like mentoring some startups and, and this stuff. And uh, the thing that I really love to do is uh, work with teacher training. Uh, I prepare and I um, find some technology and try to help the teachers to work inside the classrooms, especially games. And I also uh, help some festivals. Like here in Brazil, we have uh, one, 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 a big one called a Big Festival. It's a Brazilian Independent Games Festival where uh, they uh, select the best uh, game for education, for entertainment. And we also, I also help other festival called Con Kids where we work only with audiovisual and games for children and adolescents. And so I, I can send you all the links to get you know, but let's uh, go to the, our theme today. We will talk a little bit about Engage, logic, the logic approach, uh, the gamification buzzword, because uh, maybe you heard about gamification. I, I, my, my intention today is just uh, to clarify, to, to put some, some light in this name, because there are many ways to work with gamification. And I will try to explain something about this. And I uh, will explain uh, about one framework uh, that I'm, I am calling this, this framework calling, uh, calling about um, gamification multivision and also uh, give you some, uh, um, a little bit about samples of projects made by educators in, in, this, in this theme of gamification and some uh, and two or three platforms and tools where you can uh, find some more, more information because today uh, we just have a few time okay um, to get you know I I work with my students um, uh, around uh, two two months to to talk about all this stuff and today we have around now 30 minutes okay I will do my best so let's go um, and how to engage? Uh, I put this the image of uh, animal here because um, we will talk about something that are inside us humans, and uh, why not inside of animals too? And um, this represent uh, everything that I want to say now. And how to engage? How we can? Um, how can we touch uh, the feeling of uh, logic? Uh, the logic inside us. Um, doing the explain, uh, you know, uh, there is a, a guy, uh, his name is Johan Huizinga, and uh, he was a teacher, he was a, a researcher, and he, is, um, he research, researched about uh, history, and she, uh, he finds something like that. Uh, if you have uh, some, uh, a cat or a, a little dog, uh, a, a small one, and they they start to play one with another. Uh, the, the, the two of them are are, are playing. When uh, one of them uh, bites uh, another one, um, the, the, he he makes like oh, oh. Uh, there is some limits when when they play. You know, it not they they just uh, they they not play free. There are some limits. There are some rules where. Uh, these little animals can uh, the, 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 these little animals do and um, his his book this book homo ludens homo ludens uh, um, uh, he tried to put uh, all this this history uh, where the ludic came and where uh, the how how these samples of animals uh, works and he try to explain uh, this, this, his hypothesis about the ludic. And he say uh, that there is a, a really nice um, um, part uh, where he say, uh, we find the game in culture, accompanying and marking it from the most distant origins to the stage of civilization in which we now find ourselves. Uh, what he, he are trying to say here, um, so when we, we was uh, in the Asian human history, um, there is a, a point, there is a, a time uh, where uh, before 
the people uh, was sitting uh, sitting in in a fire around the fire um, maybe is the, the time where we, we start to 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 think about oh we we are civilians yet we are now um, get together around this this fire uh, but before this um Huizinga say so uh, we play before our sense of civilization you know uh, this is some some maybe some incredible maybe some um you know uh, um strange in a way but uh, his approach uh, just say that so we we play before our sense of civilization so it's something that are very um, very uh, old and it's something is, is very very inside us very very you uh it, you know it's, uh, it's a human it's from the human kind um so this is the guy who is inga uh he he's from Nether the netherlands um this is the, the old book there are um, a lot of uh, new new editions you, you can find them on the internet so why why i i i'm i take some some ideas from Huizinga. Um, because we have today, uh, we have a lot of games today. Uh, since the last century, uh, we have the, 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 a, a huge, um, um, you know, um, a, a lot of people buying, uh, a lot of people playing, not only the digital technologies, but some people, um, before the digital you used to play soccer you used to play uh you know volleyball and everything so at, at the last uh, um at the end of the last century we have a lot of uh, uh digital games and a lot of people playing and uh, this uh, creates a culture uh, a game culture and um from this game culture uh, um another word uh, came from and this word is gamification and there are a lot of discussions uh, about this this word and some people says oh uh, why we have uh, why we have a new word to say that we work with ludic uh, there is a, a guy ian bogost where uh, he's very critic and he says so gamification it's a <laughs> There is a, a test uh, I, I I can share to you, but um, this 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 word gamification really really um, um, it, it's it's a buzzword today, and a lot of people uh, use uh, some frameworks and some um, some ways to work with games, and they call this gamification. So the definition is something like that. Uh, gamification is some mechanics and charities from games apply it to the other contests uh, if you just you know uh, play uh, uh, right in google gamification you will see a lot of uh, ways to you know to uh, to work and to uh, apply gamification in everywhere uh, so this is a little bit about gamification and we have a consequence about um, G, uh, about gamification because a lot of people try to use this, but not in the, the good, not in the, the best way or the good way. Because some people uh, uh, use like a badification. When you see uh, some, you know, market, uh, uh, um, some some programs, uh, TV programs, uh, yeah. internet also uh, use a lot of um gamifications uh things um, and where they they only use badges uh i i i i don't know if you remember but maybe in five years ago uh we have a, a big site a big uh, social uh network where you go to a cafe and you take a coffee you take a coffee and after that, you 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 say to this uh, technology, "Oh, I'm here and I'm drinking coffee." And if you do this a lot of times, you you be the king of that place. And 
uh, you, you, you start to be a king of, of a coffee. What, what is the reason? You know, there, there is no reason to, to do that. But a lot of people uh, try to use this, this technology and was, you know, uh, it was very, very popular. Uh, today, this network doesn't work not, uh, anymore. And uh, they try to use another ways um, to use badge, uh, to use gamification, not uh, not only a badge, you know, uh, like ah, you you now you are the king, uh, now you are the the deputy, now you are you know the the governor uh, and and everything like that. So gamification uh, is uh, not just badges; it's about um, something more, something um, more, something bigger and something uh, inside us this uh, and this this is uh, so this inside us uh, is the reason that i try to to explain to you here so um let's go what i have here so uh, um besides this bad badification i try to show you uh, i will just pass some some samples that I did last year because uh, I made a call to Brazilian educators here in Sao Paulo uh, asking them to send me uh, all the projects that they was working with games and gamification. Um, this, uh, this call, I uh, was in the big festival, the, the game game festival here in Brazil. And I, I was very happy because I received a, uh, around uh, eight, eight projects that was working with gamification and games and technology and everything. And um, so I, I, we received, game, we received uh, some projects from, um, you know, the, 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 for, for teachers who works with the children, for teachers uh, who works uh, with the the K twelve uh, initial years, um, so for all, all the basic education, uh, uh, I received projects there, um, and mix everything, mix uh, games, um, uh, entertainment games, and educational games, uh, linking these games with robotics. Uh, with uh, not only digital strategies, uh, use some uh, table games, use cards, and you know, uh, use it everything. I have a list of these projects, and I promise to send you uh, if you want to just to check it out and try to uh, be uh, to take some more examples. Okay, so this is this is was the the call that I made here last year in Brazil. And I will suggest you uh, three um, three things. Uh, the first one is this. Uh, maybe some some of you know it's gamesforchange.org. Uh, it's um, an organization, a non non proofed organization, uh, where um, they every year they ask to developers and educators and and people. To send them the games that they that they did that they did uh, that year, and every year they select the best uh, educational or you know uh, critical game. There are a lot of categories. Where so if you go there, you will see around uh, two or three hundred games uh, from every kind of topics. So if you want to know uh, how to um, how to you know to, to learn how to survive to survive from uh, uh, you know um, from uh, a cataclysm and or for for uh, from um, uh, um, um, natural disaster there is a game where you can learn uh, you can learn how to to be safe and when when this happen you know and there are some games where you can uh, you know learn how to be um, how to get out from drugs uh, some psychology uh, uh, psychology themes and so go there and you see a lot of different types of games but if you want to develop something 
we, I, I suggest two things. I suggest Kahoot. Maybe if maybe you you know this this platform. Uh, it's a platform where you develop. Um, so say hello to Marina. Marina, hello to everybody. <laughs> this is my this is my life. <laughs> um, so uh, Kahoot is a huge platform where you uh, made some quiz, and this is very nice because. Uh, when you develop a quiz, you send them to the students, and these students uh, need to answer. But uh, not just putting the selecting some 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 answers. Uh, he needs they, they they need to select some uh, geometric geometric draws and answer the the, the right the right uh, geometric draw. And they have time to do this, and they have. Uh, um, very very nice sound uh, where they shouldn't get engaged to to answer you know and after the, the quiz finish it you can see a lot of uh, you know uh, list of um, of the how the students uh, if the students answer the, the right answer or not how long they answer everything there and it's free you it just get just uh, Access and, and getting, and we have also uh, tiny cards. Uh, it uh, at the, the idea is the same. You will uh, co uh, develop a quiz, but uh, work with cards, digital cards. Um, this one, it's uh, is it, you can also work with the young ones because it's more uh, visual. It's more you know. Um, is for the young ones work, work answer. So this is some suggestions, and now I will enter uh, in the hardest part of my talk today because I will I will show you um, how big is gamification because as I I show you uh, it's not just uh, badges. There are a lot of difference. Uh, uh, different uh, units and levels of gamification. Um, so stay calm, and I will, um, you know, um, try to guide you in this in this um, exercise of re reflection. Okay, and we in, we enter and this uh, this topic of gamification that I I am calling multivision. Uh, it's a framework. Uh, a framework were developed by this guy, uh, Yu Kai Shou. It's a guy. Uh, <clears throat> th this guy uh, analyzed everything from gamification, and he tried to put here in one, two, three, uh, in eight, uh, eight different um, words, everything from from gamification. It was a uh, hard. Uh, an ally, uh, it was a hard work, and um, you know I will just pass in some of these this units uh, to show you uh, how gamification is 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 big. Okay, so we have at this framework the unit of meaning, empowerment, social influence, influence, uh, unpredictability, avoidance, scarcity, own ownership, and accomplishment. Let's do. Um, let's see uh, inside of one of these units to know um, what um, UQ show are trying to 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 say to us. So when when he says meeting, when if you have a game or if you have a, a, a narrative, um, you, you you could work uh, a gamification strategy. Where you um, where you tell a history, where you tell an, a narrative, and you, you you can put some as aspects there. Like I can put a narrative telling uh, about a human a hero, like uh, like our like the, like the Bible, like the Bible. Uh, there are a lot a lot of uh, narratives there, and also. Um, some chapters where you can find um, the um, some some heroes there, like the the, the Jonas and the 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 whale and 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 everything. 
So uh, the Bible is a, a big narrative, isn't it? Uh, and we have, uh, like uh, he says, the beginner's luck. What is this? Uh, when you play uh, and you, you play a, a game, and at the first time you, you get very, very lucky. Uh, this is uh, the beginner's luck. Uh, but it's not, a, you know, you, you are not so lucky like he's saying here, because where you, when you do, when you, in a gamification, you input a, beginner, a beginner's luck, uh, it was an uh, intentional action, you know, not just a beginner look, but it's a way, it's a gamification strategy. So this is the meaning. Um, and Yuki Shai tells us about empowerment. How to empower when you use gamification? You can use milestone unlocks, you can use poison pickers, milestone unlocks. So when you are in a game, when in, when you are uh, doing a gamification strategy. Uh, if the if someone uh, made a part of the the game, you give them um, a card. You give them, you know, uh, a coin or, or an everything just to mark this this milestone. And you can give them a poison pickers like the some some games where uh, the character drinks something and he gets strong or he gets you know he transform in another creature. So this is the empowerment. Uh, and this is the most famous one, uh, the, the famous one. I think everyone uh, uh, knows here, Facebook, uh, you know, Instagram, where you, uh, you know, you show to other people uh, where, you, where you are, uh, what are you doing, uh, what are you reading, and, the sense of social influence is, I think, is the most powerful one because, uh, you know, you, you get really, really um, engaged when you see a friend, when you see uh, someone making something and, it, and you get like, oh, I, I, I want to do this. I want to, you know, it's, uh, I think, is the, the most powerful gamification strategy. And we have also, uh, let's see my time. So, Vivian, help me. I, I need... I have more five minutes, I think. Yeah. No, no, you're right. Don't worry. You ah, okay. Have... Okay. You still can have five to ten minutes. No problem. Oh, thank then. you. So thank people, you. don't sleep, please. I'm here and I'm 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 finished. Okay. <laughs> um, and we have also the sense of unpredictability. Uh, how to, you know, how to work with unpredictability. You, you can um, offer uh, random rewards, like, ah, I did something and I get, uh, uh, I get the answer. I get coins, I get, I don't know. And you, you also uh, have the, 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 the power of unpredictability when you have the Oracle eff effect. Like, uh, if you put something in your narrative, something in your game where um, a, a paper or, or someone uh, tells you that um, in, in 10 minutes we'll help, uh, we'll, we'll, ha uh, we'll, how can I say this? We'll happen, in, we'll, oh, help me, Vivian. We'll, um, happening, it's oh, okay. Sorry, how can I help yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll happening, so, uh, 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 like like uh, to, uh, uh, just now? to let you know that everyone's writing down in the chat that everyone's following you, so we don't need to be worried about ah, it. Ah, okay. They 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 are not sleeping. I'm I'm very happy about uh, that. No, at all. <laughs> okay. So uh, the oracle effect is something that you um um we, we uh, some something will have uh, will um. Um, acontecer, Vivian, me ajuda. Happen. <laughs> happen. Something will happen. Something will happen uh, in ten, 10 minutes, okay? This is the oracle effect. Something will happen very, uh, will happen in a time. Thank you, Pedro. Um, so, this is the unpredictability. And now, the avoidance. Uh, what is avoidance? When you feel like, oh, I'm lost, I'm lost uh, my energy, I'm lost my, my time, 
uh, is the sense of you know uh, that 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 you you are losing something or, or something like that. Yeah, uh, this is the avoidance. Oh, sorry. And we have the sense of scarcity, and this is I think that the most hard to me to explain because um, you have like uh, Happy this to one. Help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Feel free, Vivian, please. Okay. Yeah. Say, keep saying. <laughs> Sorry? No, you can say if you have any questions. I'm happy ah, okay, to yeah, yeah. So it's something where you, uh, like appointment, appointment dynamics, it's something where you, um, uh, you you don't have the the target, and you have to 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 work with this uh, un, un, unsta, uh, instability of options and and everything like 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 that. Yeah, this is the the, the hardest one to explain. Sorry. <laughs> um, let's and the last. Or they maybe say in your own language, maybe, and then we can try. Yeah. Yeah. É alguma coisa, Vivian, como um, tem um imã puxando e você vai para aquele caminho, sabe? Alguma coisa nesse sentido. Uh, I think it's get uh, what he's saying is probably when you have a, like a magnetic who taking you to some specific way, some specific path. Is that right? Yeah. Great, great. Thank you. Thank you. Many thanks. Pleasure. Please. Yeah. So, uh, in the sense of ownership. Like, uh, this is very, um, this is hap happen all the time because uh, you are playing a game and this game um, give you some, some money, virtual, virtual money. And you, you, you start to feel, oh, I'm, I'm getting rich. I'm getting, you know, um, I, I have a lot of money. And also this owner, the sense of ownership, um, it's on on the avatars. If you have an avatar, uh, I will um, you know put a clothes that I like, uh, a shoe that I like. Uh, I will um, make the, the, the avatar um, in a way that that I want, you know. And I have the sense of oh, this is my this is my avatar, and this is, uh, is something that you know you know uh, you you own you you are overship. Maybe you can say that something that's related to you, you can relate it to? Yeah, it's related to ownership. Perfect, William, oh, thank you. Yeah. And also the last one, uh, I think is the famous one, the famous one too, because we have our badge here. And that is the reason that I, I am trying to explain to you because gamification is not just badge, it's not badgeification. And we also have, many other ways to explain how how the the the, the user and how the student uh, can uh, you know have points can have uh, his position at the leaderboard uh, can understand where where he are when the game or the action the 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 you know the the, the the strategy gamification are used in progress boards. So this is, uh, you know, just um, a sample of how to um, to give you the, the sense that gamification is a huge uh, window, a huge door where you go inside and try to make experience uh, and try to make some projects because there, there is no, um, no, you know, the, the right way. There is only, uh, you know, the um, you, you, you get up. Um, you, there is only the. Uh, you have to try. You have to try. You have to try to understand this, this units. You have to try that. That um, there are many ways where you can use, you can touch, or you can, um, you know. Uh, uh, sense, human sense. Yes, uh, Vivian, I think it, it, it is. 
um, we can start now interact with this with everybody here. I will stop to share my screen. Okay. And uh, thanks everybody yeah. to hear me. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. So um, everyone, now uh, we can start questions. Okay, feel free please to write down in chat here. Might be easy for us to, to follow. Oh, no. in, in, in. If you, would you mind, uh, Rodriguez, Rodriguez from Argentina, if you, would you mind, uh, just write down on the chat here, right on the bottom, just because it'd be easier for us, and oh, it's more important, actually, the reason I'm asking you that is just because... Jose, I wanted to ask the professor Argentini and the professor Jose, tell me one thing. It's very hard for a teacher llevar el mismo ritmo o más o menos el mismo ritmo de clase que tiene normalmente a nivel presencial. Eso es muy difícil a nivel virtual. Depende de la destreza del docente, profe. Hay, hay, bueno, se, se tiene de que el que es malo presencial virtualmente también va a hacerlo, ¿no? Es, es lo que dice ah, más o menos el estudio. Excuse me, everyone. I'm so eh, sorry. My apologies. Eh, to, my apologies to, to interrupt you. It's just because for better listening and better experience um, to write down the chat. Is that okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry for that, guys, because if you keep talking, no one is starting to know listen, everyone. So it's going to get very confusing because, believe me or not, we have a lot, lot of people here. Okay? So... Actually, thanks again for your presence. So, um, while you're, you're writing down, uh, Rodriguez from Argentina, writing down your message, I'm just gonna ask, I'm gonna pass to, to Jim, one interesting question that um, during your presentation, uh, Jim, came out. So one question was, uh, it's from Marwa, Marwa, correctly, if, if I'm wrong, apologize. Um, it's like, can you give some tip about gamification on distance? That's her question for you. What do you think, John? Basically, she's asking if you can provide to her some suggestions, some tip in how to do gamification on distance. That's why. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, try to use um, this platform that I show you, uh, Kahoot, because. Kahoot works works uh, in a distant uh, in a remote way. You 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 uh, do, you will open a class in in uh, in Kahoot, and you 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 can uh, send the link to the students to your students, uh, and in the time. Uh, but you have to do this, uh, you know, uh, at the same time. I don't know if you are work, uh, you know uh like online uh you are talking with your your students at the same time or if you have if you are you are just you know saying some some activities and they um uh, they do when, when they, they they have time yeah? because uh, kahoot will just works uh if you are work at the same time Good. Thanks, Jim. The next one is coming from Johnny. He's asking, could you please tell us about some personal experience, okay, to convince serious teacher or serious school what a game are and an effective way of teaching in reinforcing the learning? He seems he yeah. needs some suggestion for you how to convince uh, schools. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I did this a lot of a lot of times. So I I took a game. Um, well, there is his the, the the game was called uh, September Twelve. It's a game where um, uh, try to represent the the day uh, before the day after uh, the the K, uh, September Twelve when we have this disasters with the, the, the planes and everything. So they developed a game uh, 
uh, called September 12, where represents um, the, the things that happen uh, in the in the Orient. Like uh, so, they you in this game you are in a plane and you just you know send some bombs to the in the population and uh, all the population uh, when you you know uh, when you send a bomb destroy uh, everything is destroyed and uh, the people that survive around this this bomb uh, transform um, is transformed for you know um, they, they are transformed to a people that will put uh, bombs uh, in other cities when you start to you know put a lot of bombs in the city uh, every people there um, what uh, starts to transform and you uh, so what what is the, the the message inside of this game um, violence just uh, you know um, is justified by violence and I use this game with the adolescents and the the and with the teacher of geography and we talk about you know um, some wars and everything uh, um, and everything and the scenario political scenario uh, at that time okay john thank you so before uh, my next questions oh no actually i'm mean, writing down guys my emails so if you guys as i said uh at the beginning if you guys have any questions okay uh just send it to me i will collect them and send to them simply because there's a lot of, of questions coming out and we don't have enough time, but I'll keep reading, but just to remind you, all right? So next question, John. <laughs> it's very interesting. I think it's a similar one that you have in your, in your first uh, presentation. Yeah. Uh, I guess people are questioning, gamification is useful for teenagers only or all ages? I think when it comes, when the ages, you know, yeah. one is for younger, especially for the yeah. young, uh, younger learners, how yeah. do you think about it? Oh, I think you can use in all ages uh, with adults too, uh, but you have to uh, get attention because if you work with the young ones, uh, I don't suggest I don't suggest to use uh, only digital things. Uh, you can use you know strategies uh, with groups and uh, you know activities that put uh, the children to move their bodies and uh, not just using you know screens and technology things uh, you, you can use uh, uh, non-digital strategies but if you are if you we are talking about children around you know seven start to seven um, you, we can use more digital things uh, and we have also uh, for uh, adolescents and adults um, some ser uh, serious um, serious strategies like the, some, some games that i sh uh, that you you will see uh, inside uh, the that platform that i showed you um, games for change there are a lot a lot of serious games where you can find you know hard topics to uh, um, transform it in games Sorry, I was on mute just because I was typing. Um, I guess uh, the next question is an interesting one. It says most of us, okay, most of us are familiar with game-based learning, but how to move to a real gamification in this context? No, oh, it's a good question because um, I know this way to work with with games and, and project. Uh, I think we are talking about the same topic, uh, but I, I think this framework, the, the Haiku Show framework, uh, it's another way to see uh, uh, the, the, the gamification, you know? Uh, he puts everything in a, in a diagram and you can see very easy uh, where uh, I, I, I can develop uh, some strategy. I think uh, you, you will, you will be a, a very good uh, job if you work with game-based pro uh, game-based learning too. It's it's another way to to call gamification. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Thank you. 
Uh, well, before uh, my next question, John, I just want, I mean, I'm not sure if you were able to read the chat, but I can tell that everyone is thank you a lot. It's saying the subjects mm -hmm. have been very, very helpful. So thank you very much one more time. So I think Argentina Rodriguez, um, uh, thank you so much for writing down your, your questions. Uh, she's saying, what kind of platform do you recommend for preschool students? I know you, you mentioned some, uh, so I'm not sure if you have other ones. And the other uh, one, just take an opportunity. It's saying uh, a lot of people say Kahoo, uh, they know already, uh, but it seems uh, they want to get to know more uh, different ones. So I'm not sure yeah. if you can recommend the different ones than Kahoo. Uh, we have, um, uh, I suggest you go to Games for Change and, you know, try to search uh, at, with, with the, uh, what type of, you know, topic you want to talk with your students and you will see because um, every game, every uh, digital game uh, has a way to, to work with the ludic strategy. And um, if you, uh, and, and, the, and the ludic, uh, um, digital um, logic strategies are a very very huge uh, door um, if you go in, in this side we will see a lot of different uh, games and ways to and imagining or uh, adapt uh, transform to uh, in a way that works for your classroom or works for your uh, you know your uh, situation on mute sorry okay just to let you know guys uh pedro Diaz, thanks a lot for that he just wrote down um the um, games for change website in our chat so that's easy way for you to to get to know there thanks for that so we are finishing here all mm -hmm. right we are finishing your presentation you are finished your q and answers again i just wrote down my email vivian at bo education.co.uk so it's right there in our chat feel free to ask me to send me all your questions another good information is we are recording this, this presentation so in case you are interested to get a copy of it just send me uh, an email and I'm happy to send it back to you so John for you thanks a lot okay it's been a great work with you uh, all your knowledge all your experience Thanks very much for that, and I'll see you all next time. Okay, see you okay. guys. Thanks, Vivian. Thanks to everybody to listen to me. Uh, I want to, to help you if you have any doubts. Just write to Vivian, and thank you again. Bye, guys. Thank you.